Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy and this is another open with me. As you can see, this is the latest Simply Crochet. So I've got rid of my address. <laughs> Use some sellotape to get rid of it. I've got one of those little gizmos that obliterates your address, but I need to put new ink in it. So for now, that'll do. Anyway, there's a few bits and pieces in here this time. So let's get rid of that. Well, we've got this Birda, Birda crochet um, little booklet, load of adverty stuff. Um, the last time I did that and just discarded it, it turned out to be lottery tickets. <laughs> never mind, I never even checked them. So this is Simply Crochet, um, what yeah, episode are we at? Edition, should I say not episode, if I've got that upside down? Wouldn't be me if it was the right way up now. Um, wow, I can't focus. I think my glasses need cleaning. 123. Doesn't bode well for the whole um, feature, does it? Okay, so we've got Fun with Fair Isle. How to follow and chart top tips. 34, pa 34 patterns for you. Uh, holiday poncho for home or away days. It's one of those, though, um, kind of straight ones. Step into the summer. We've got this kind of throw, um, a little waistcoat thingy. Hang in. Well, they're kind of jars to put uh, candles in. And we've got a cushion. Crochet and coding the science of stitching. Now, I'm keeping my eyes a little bit around me because there's a big wasp in here somewhere. And I think I angered it trying to get it out the window. So if I suddenly run away, you'll know why. Okay, so we've got the Queen. It is her diamond. Is it diamond or platinum jubilee? Platinum. It was diamond last time, wasn't it? So maybe we've got crochet yourself a queen in this um, magazine. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Lots of crocheted queens around. And here's the page that tells us all that's in here. Um, I like the sun key ring. That's kind of cute. Good for a little stocking filler. Or, you know, some people like to find those little gifts to give the teachers at the end of the year. That might be a kind of nice little thing. And we've got a big advert for yarn. Um, nothing much else on there. Hooked. Ideas, inspiration, accessories, websites, events and stuff. Wouldn't it be funny if my website found its way into this magazine? It'd be cool, wouldn't it? It's a launching, kind of, that was silly there, guys. It's launching uh, Monday for the US and Canada. So um, it's kind of not finished, but we're getting there. So we've got a Beside the Seaside Beach Holidays. This is the new King Cole Cow for you to join and hook up. So this is a new crochet along, if you fancy that. Um, what's this yarn? Let's have a look. It looks, looks kind of interesting. Eretica. Eretica? 100% wool yarn comes to us from the remote, sharply beautiful Faroe Islands, halfway between Norway and Iceland. 100% wool. That might make me react just a little bit, so I'm not sure how I could actually use that. Um, sometimes with natural fibres, I'm really allergic. And in fact, I will show you that um, I've come to the conclusion that the, the thing that I have wrong with my hands at the moment is crocheting, because this is obviously where I'm holding the hook and then the other area where I hold the, the other side crochet um, I'm getting it there too. So maybe that's having some effect. Um, I'm using creams to get rid of it. And I think I did blame all the hand washing and um, sanitizing. And I think that is a massive part of it. But also where I'm holding yarn all the time and different fibres. So we've got um, lots of little bits and pieces to interest. What's this? How to do a standing start. Okay, and inspirational books. Let's see how much these ones are. We have Head to Toe Crochet, Gurinder Kaur, 
hat hatchet and that's 16.99 um not really sure uh what's in that uh it says that new baby is the perfect excuse to get your hooks out so maybe it's lots of baby stuff curious crochet creatures by irene strange at 15.99 and then we've got crochet wraps by tammy hildebrand that's only 8.95 might do might not be very many in there that's this one and then we have this one which um decorating needle felting projects by gretel parker 14.99 so there's a few books there to look out for um and more kind of stuff five fab finds what have we found let's have a look tiny dancer oh look at that oh that is cute i have to say that is quite cute um find the pattern for five pounds at pe peach and page.com I'm, I'm not really focusing too well today um and there's bits and pieces there's a nice little bra thingy scrunchies and a top so that tells you where to find them skills and events um crochet retreat in crew open weekend south Moulton, darlington warfare and cambridge yarn festival learn to spin full day course in dorking now that might be cool okay moving on a breath of fresh air summer fair isle collection so this is the fair isle collection and i'm not sure what will be in the magazine um but we'll find out as we go maybe all of it maybe none of it i like the chicken that's kind of cool i think that would have been nice with um an opening here this stay as it is and made this made into a bag for the child i think that might have been nice and there we go more fair isle lots and lots of patterns so what are we making here then we're making this wrap i guess this one scarf it's called but <laughs> really it's a bit wide just saying a tad wide and then we're putting pockets on a, a normal penny for dress or tunic and there we have the uh, afghan and we've got the chicken there he is there's the chicken but the afghan's pretty it's nice i like that a bit of different kind of textures and stuff and we have a, ber a beret a beret a beret quality time adult and child versions so oh God, i think these not these glasses that i'm wearing are i'm past the um <laughs> past this kind i think they're possibly a one and a half or something i've gone past that now so i need to get stronger glasses so there we go that's how to make the adult and child versions of those waistcoats there's a bit of a close-up of the front and we've got the queen it's called crowning glory coronation themed crochet celebrate queen elizabeth ii's platinum jubilee with a design by ellie crafts boutique i like the way she's got the um orb in her hand <laughs> it's kind of cute they had a they had, oh, i watched the uh, opening of parliament the other day and they carried her crown in on a on a cushion obviously it wasn't her it was prince charles that did it but even you know it was just dazzling the 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 sparkle that comes off of that was just dazzling that's just an advert so we've got 14 balls yarn bundle from starcraft when you subscribe today to make this um this blanket so that's quite an interesting it's the starcraft bellissima and there's how you do it if you want that there's your code to do that i've not used the starcraft bellissima i've used starcraft lots of them but not bellissima jess's journal page i never read those desert dreams it's either that or dessert i never know i have dreams of dessert but maybe not desert but it's obviously the desert <laughs> so what is it did i not see a picture of it is that Capture a sunset scene. 
in an arid North American landscape with this blanket border. So it's just a way to border your blanket. Reminds me of Vegas. Um, £20 grab bags at Stitch and Story. Oh, this is quite nice. A twin set. Goodness gracious. Do you remember when they were fashionable? Twin set and pearls. But that's actually quite a nice. I'll just make the little vest top myself. But that's actually kind of cool. I like that. Twin set. Maybe they'll come back. <laughs> Memories and all that. Right at home. Snuggle into Cozy Granny Square Throw by Sally Shepherd. So this kind of reminds me of when I did um, embroidery at school with the little running stitch around the outside. And that's kind of sweet, isn't it? Do you remember doing that? Oh, my goodness. A long while ago for me, but that's kind of what we did. Little little things with that material that had the holes in it. And here's the sunshine bright keyring. I like this one. It wouldn't... You see, the key that I have at the moment um, tickle my legs as I'm driving, which I've really a bit off-putting and annoying so that definitely wouldn't clang and stuff so we've got um a little bit about rachel zane of oodles of crochet shares the story behind her love of amigurumi if you wanted to read about that looking for a good yarn oh here's the um the poncho it's actually a child's one i couldn't really see that so well on the front page but get kids ready for the summer with Fun Poncho by Jess Bennett. It's kind of interesting. I quite like the stitch, I have to say. It's a hoodie. A hooded one. So let's see, what size is 3 to 5, 6 to 8, 9 to 11 and 12 to 14? Wouldn't take much imagination to make it a bit bigger, would it? After 12 to 14. And then we've got some spring bags, hook to hook. I'm not sure if these are in here. We challenge two designers to come up with a fab design, each using the same yarn, which is your favourite. Oh, goodness. We've got a bird fight going on outside. You can hear that, the wind is open. It is the most enormous crow that I've ever seen. It's massive. It's bigger than the seagulls. Wow, that is giant. Anyway, I don't know which I prefer. I think I prefer this one because it's a crossbody and it's the only type I wear, but... Um, Seriously, this bird is enormous. It's going to fall out of a tree in a minute. Can you knock it off, mate? Okay. Scene stealer. Gently light up your life with delicate tea light covers. I don't know what he's up to. It's not. There's lots of food there. Uh, by Emma Leith. See, I always worry about... I wanted to make a crochet kind of table, um, you know, lamp go round because I've got a very plain lamp cover I'm gonna get the gun in a minute guys it's really putting me off <clears throat> oh wow anyway um where was I oh yeah and I often thought about it then I thought well it would get hot so I wonder if it would be a bit it'd be okay if I put it on the outside of the lampshade that would be fine maybe I'll do it one day the trouble is I always have so much to do Bird fight, good grief. Getting upstaged by birds. Okay, moving on. The science of crochet. <laughs> Still there. Goodness gracious. The science of crochet. And, and if you understand crochet, you're actually well on your way to understanding various scientific and mathematical concepts. They're more similar than you might think. I'm going to shut the window. I'm just going to pause it for a second. Seriously, you're probably still hearing, but all of a sudden a giant bird has come and decided to not throw it, frighten it away. Just as I shut the window. Typical, isn't it? So anyway, this is about the science and the maths behind crochet, if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, oh, we've got um, a little chart for a smiley. Forest Fair. So that looks kind of nice. I like this. You know, I'm not a very lacy person, but I do kind of like it when it, you know, it's just a border. Or I do like lacy stuff sometimes. And it is quite a lacy shawl. So we've got how to do that, if you're interested. The picture doesn't really do it justice, I think, because she's wearing black and it's green. 
so you can't really see it so well like stand out so we've got simply knitting try three issues for five pounds i might do that and then we can do those magazines as well talavera blanket crochet along now this is part two so it wouldn't be difficult to pick this one up and do uh you know get your part one so that you can do that now, I've always told you before about various ways you can read these magazines for free. Now, there's one, if you've got the library app, you can often get it. But there is actually a website where you can read this magazine for free. And I can't for the life of me think what it's called now. But if I can remember, I'll put it in the comments. So this is how to make these really adorable little um, Mayflower friendship bracelets. They do look kind of sweet. That's quite nice. And we've got this well-rounded cushion. Um, I have some blanks, like cushion blanks, round ones to make. got three of them. I have three designs in my head. I haven't done them yet. One of these days. So we've got the reader's bit, the show us yours. And um, take thousands of patterns wherever you go with Simply Crochet app. I didn't know they had one. Look at those dicky birds, they're kind of cute. Oh, nice. How do I follow a stitch chart? So here we go, telling you everything you need to know. And I didn't know, for instance, that um, that atty thing was the symbol for a magic loop. Kind of looks really, I suppose, like it should be. But yeah, it's telling you all you need to know to read the charts. So that's pretty cool. Organic yarns. Keep things nature friendly with these gorgeous yarns. What have we got? Let's see. We'll move this up a little bit and we'll zoom. Probably look, moved it too much. Rico Design Essential Organic Cotton Aran. £2.49 for a 50 gram ball. We've got the Sheepies, and I know it's not pronounced that way, but it is to me. Um, organic Cotton. And this is 50 gram ball for 2 99 Juniper Moon Farm Patagonia Organic Merino. And that does sound sumptuous, but for 100 grams, you're going to be paying £12.99, which is a vast difference. Stylecraft Naturals Organic Cotton is a 50 gram ball for 2 29 So that is really, really good value. I stock Stylecraft. I haven't got that one at the moment, but you never know. Shoppel Zawa Wool Cotton, four ply though, so it's quite a thin yarn. That's a sport weight over across the pond. 100 grams would cost you £9.89. And Lana Grossa Per Fortuna, <laughs> it's only, I only struggle because it's light peach on a white background and I find that hard to read, sort of, where are we? Can't even see it, there you go. See, it's poor for Fortuna. You can see it. It's better on here because I've zoomed. But, um, so yeah, this was the shopple. I've forgotten that I zoomed. Sorry, guys. I'll unzoom. Oh, my, if I can. There you are. This was the shopple. I didn't realise I was zoomed and you wouldn't see it. And the La Lana Grossa one is £5.59 for a 50 gram ball of DK weight. Well... Those of them will just give you a little bit of a blurb. So next issue, we've got this really kind of lacy top, you know, to go over like a, a little vesty top, I guess. You couldn't really do it otherwise, could you? Be a bit indecent. Um, speaking of indecent, if you watched my Rocks chat this morning, might have been Rocks chat. Was it Rocks chat? Yes, I think it was. I showed my nudie knits calendar and quite shocked myself. 28 page African flower motif pattern and book and a crochet hook. And you've also got Lacy Summer T-shirt, which is this top. Cute Amigurumi frog. Can't see him, so I'm not showing him. Sun and Shade baby blanket. Don't think we can see that either. Fun watermelon scarf. That's, that is there. That's this one, I guess. Doesn't really look like watermelon, so it might not be. Stylish floral cushion. Can't see that. Adorable seaside motifs and retro purse. Would that be that? No, because we don't call a purse. We call that a bag. It's one of those USA things, 
versus UK. A purse is the thing that you keep your money in, which you guys call a wallet. And we call the bag a bag, not a purse. Well, confused? You will be. So we've got the crochet essentials pages. Tells you like how to hold your hook, which is a bit as presumptuous that you might want to hold it the newfangled way that gives you our make and everything else ache. Making a slip knot and a chain. Um, double trebles, treble crochets. These are all obviously UK terms. So usually in here we've got one that will tell you um, the conversion. So we've got the how-to pages, which we always seem to have. But they tend to be the things that, um, you know, are in the magazine. So you might need that skill to do it. So we've got the abbreviations, the hook conversions, which hook do I use? And that's a different one. They've not had that before, telling you that it, what size hook you need for what ply. So I usually just decide on the thickness of that certain ply, because sometimes it varies, well, quite always. It, charts and diagrams always varies. For all of the bits and pieces in the magazine, and then that's that's it, pure fantasy bits at the end. And now we've got the birder book. So let's have a little looky and see what's what in here. Boost your creativity. Intarsia and granny squares. 11 new patterns for you to crochet. Must haves for summer, tops, scarves, bags and more. Adorable makes for children, dress, doll and cute rugs. And then we've got Hook the Trends, Easy Makes for All the Family. Okay, so let's see what's in here. We've got the tank top. We've got a, a kind of markety bag or two. We've got this guy. Is that an elephant? I think it is. Um, we've got a little, little top. Let's go over, shall we? We've got a top and a dolly. This is what I think is an elephant. We've got scarf, hat, another bag a cardigan and a stripy pullover. Whoops, that was caught under my bracelet. I got this when I was in Vegas and it's got these things and it was stuck underneath. So this is boost your creativity with this vest with knitted ribbon. So you've got a mixture of crochet and knitting. Easy crochet bag. That looks like it would take a long time because that to me, looks like many many rows of um uk doubles which is a single crochet in the us so it's nice and sturdy and no holes but it's a tedious stitch to do that amount of it cute and cuddly this is an elephant rug so there we go oh yeah i can see it better now ears trunk eye i think the baby the way it was laying before i didn't quite see it cute and cuddly crochet doll at least she's got some clothes as well. That's kind of sweet. And then we've got cute and cuddly crochet jumper. That is quite sweet as well. Um, this season must have crochet raffia bag. I just bought some raffia yarn. Well, it's not strictly speaking raffia. It was paper yarn to make a sun hat. Um, I didn't really bargain on it being quite so rough. It's going to be very rough on my hands, but I want to make one. So I'll have to bite the bullet and get going on that. And this crochet scarf is very long. Look at that. Reminds me of uh, that Tom Baker Doctor Who. He had a bit of a thing for long scarves. But this one, I think, is probably much too too long for me. <laughs> probably have to make it a bit smaller. Otherwise, I'd be tripping on it. Tripping. Crochet in no time. Slow fashion made fast. Mellow Yellow, this is called. And then we've got this bag, Hint of Summer. So it's a little bit kind of meshy with some, I think it doesn't have any pictures on it, just things showing from the inside. Cool Scandinavian crochet jacket. That's kind of nice. That looks uh, very kind of nice textural, soft and... I have a top that's a bit like that, and it's blues and grey. I kind of like that sort of thing. And here we've got the fluffy and furry. Well, it doesn't look very fluffy. 
from these pictures. Let's get up close. I suppose it's got a little fuzz to it, hasn't it? Oversized crochet jumper. I have to make it a bit longer for me, but yeah, that's not bad. Quite nice. Doesn't look ridiculously baggy because it's meant to be baggy in the sleeves. I quite like that. And it's got charts as well for everything and how to do. So all of you have like a list of all the things, like pictures, and then you get all the patterns. So there's another view of the pullover, the jumper, oversized baggy. So that's quite nice. I like that. And I must say, I do like this. So well, tell me, what do you think of this edition of the Simply Crochet magazine and the Birder book? What do you think? Are you interested in that? If I can find out the name of the website where you can actually see those for free, I'll let you know at some point. I remember seeing it in one of the comments on Facebook, but I can't remember what one. And I could not, well, didn't, don't think I'll be able to find it by looking back. But um, that's it for this um, this month for Simply Crochet. I think there's quite a lot of nice things in the Birder book, that's for sure. So tell me, what do you think? What do you like? What do you not like? And um, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.